Hey, what is going on guys? So this goes for all Samsung Galaxy phones. You want to be able to transfer your photos and videos directly to any Microsoft Surface Pro. Okay, and we're going to be using a cable. So very, very simple to do. Uh, first thing I want to note is, you know, uh, for, for example, this is a uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 7. And I have two ports on here. I have a USB-A port and I also have a Thunderbolt 3. Okay, so with the Thunderbolt 3, it's basically like a USB-C connection. So if you have one of these, USB-C to USB-C, you'll be able to transfer uh, photos and videos that way. The only thing is, I mean, for some phones, it, 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 it works, okay? For other phones, it doesn't work. For example, for some reason, when I go ahead and use this USB-C to USB-C, it'll work on my new Samsung Galaxy S20. If I plug this in here... I'll be able to go ahead and see my phone on my computer if I go to File Explorer here and I go to, um, you have to go to this PC, okay, go to this PC and then right here I see my uh, Galaxy S20, you can see it right there, so if I double click on that, you can see I'm accessing it right now, okay, and here's all my folders, if I go to DCIM, here's all my um, if I go to camera, here's my photos and videos. The thing is, for some reason, on my Samsung Galaxy S8, when I plug this in here, the USB-C, it doesn't work, okay? Anyways, the other alternative, too, is uh, some of you guys might not have a Thunderbolt um, 3 on your uh, Surface Pro. Anyways, you always have the standard option, too, the USB-A to a USB Type-C, or you can do a USB, I mean, depending on what phone you have, the um, the Samsung Galaxy S8 uses a USB Type-C, but if you have like an S5 or an S7 or the uh, Samsung J7 or J series or S series, they basically use a, a USB-A to a micro USB. Okay, anyways, grab the uh, your, your cable that comes with your phone, your charging cable, and I'm just going to go ahead and transfer with this one here. And this one here, I also have, uh, you should all have a USB port A on your uh, Surface Pro. So let me plug that into there. And now let me just go ahead and uh, grab my, this is a Galaxy S8, by the way. Let me just go ahead and pop this in here. I heard something on there, on it. And now, now sometimes I will get a message on here to allow this. For some reason, I'm not getting it. Sometimes you do. Anyways, you, you have to make sure that you're actually like logged in. And then once you are, let me just put my phone down here. Next thing you want to do is go to your Surface Pro and you want to go ahead and open up your file explorer, that little yellow folder right down here so let me just go ahead and left click that and then this will pop up here next thing you got to do now is you have to go and you have to tap on this PC so left click once right here this PC just like that and now you can see my Samsung Galaxy S8 and then you can go ahead and just click on that Oop, you got to double click and then you have a phone up here double click on the on the phone I'll just use the mouse and then you have all the other stuff that you can transfer here too. If you want to transfer uh, like music, uh, movies, shows, uh, ringtones, other data, other work information, stuff like that. Anyways, for this video, we're just going to transfer our photos and videos. Uh, those would be under the folder called DCIM. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And now I have under my cameras all my photos and videos. Okay, I have another folder here. This is my screenshots. And if I did any um, screen recording on my S8, then I would have another folder here. Okay, anyways, I'll go to camera here, and these are all my photos and videos that are stored locally on my phone. And so from here, it's just like a Windows computer, uh, w a typical Windows computer. If I, if I wanted this, um, this file right here, I can just drag and drop it onto the desktop and drop it. And you can see it transferring right there. I'll go ahead and let that one transfer really quick. And then voila, so it's, it's a video, it's up here. I typically, what I do is I go to the desktop right here and, um, uh, sorry, you, you weren't able to see it, but that file that I transferred on the desktop is right here. But I typically, I go to my desktop here with my mouse and I right click and I go down to new and then I go to folder and I just make a new folder here typically like that. And then I'll go ahead and pick and choose the videos and, um, videos and, um, photos that I want transferred like for instance this I just drag and I drop that right into the folder right here and then go ahead and let that like transfer okay just about done so I'll go ahead and double click that folder that new folder I made and what is this I have four files in here I have 
I have one JPEG, which is a photo, and these over here, I can see like a timer on it. So these three are videos. So I have four files total. If I open that up, you can see them right here. That's on my Surface Pro, okay? So pretty simple. Any questions or issues, uh, just comment below, right?